Donald Trump came to the debate stage, his campaign all but unraveling after this tape was made public. Trump bragging about sexually assaulting women, saying he could get away with it because he was a celebrity. He responded, it was just talk, and accused his opponent's husband, former President Bill Clinton, of assaulting women. Democrat Hillary Clinton chose to mostly ignore that. When they go low, you go high. His strategy plays to his core supporters, but most analysts believe the move could backfire in a big way. The political challenge for him, though, is he had to expand that base with women voters, with these college-educated voters, and there's nothing in that debate last night that those voters are going to find specifically new and attractive. The, the mission 30 days out from an election oh. is to win over the people who are not yet for you, and I don't think he won over one single person who was not yet for him. Many of his core supporters say the tape won't change their vote. I wouldn't do it, but like seven out of ten people, men, probably would engage in the same type of braggart type mentality. But for others, this is disqualifying. It's ridiculous. And I mean, he's just saying things that he shouldn't. I mean, if you want to become a president, you have to respect females. And if you're not able to do that, then how could you become a president? More fallout from the tape. House Speaker Paul Ryan held a very rare conference call with his own membership and basically gave them the green light to unendorse Donald Trump to say that they're not going to vote for him. He says he's not going to pull his endorsement just yet, but he's also not going to be seen campaigning with his own party's nominee for president, telling his membership it's time to make the best of what is a very bad situation. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.